In this video, you will learn how to simulate a two-stage hot forging and trimming process using the isothermal module of Updex 2D, the intelligent metal forming simulator. Let's get started with the process type first. Since the geometries of the workpiece and the dies are axisymmetric, we will carry out a 2D axisymmetric simulation. The temperature change is neglected in the simulation. The information about the material is given on the left side. The dimensions of the workpiece are as shown in the figure on the left. The material of the workpiece is a steel grade and its initial temperature is equal to 1200 degrees Celsius. The final configurations of each stage of the dies are as shown in the picture. The dimensions indicated in the picture denote the distances between the control points at the final stroke of individual stages. Graphite water is used as a lubricant in this forging process. Therefore a corresponding friction formulation will be selected. A constant velocity condition will be used in the simulation. The upper die will move downward with a constant velocity of 200 mm per second and the lower die will remain stationary. The problem definition is complete. The final component after trimming can be seen on the right side. So now, let's see how we can simulate this process using FDEX. Double click on FDEX icon to execute FDEX in your computer. Click on new to define a new process. In this process information window we will clearly define the process type. This is axisymmetric hot forging process. So we will make the selections accordingly. Select hot forming and 2D axisymmetric simulation. We select Newton as the unit of force. So the unit of stress will be megapascal. This will be a flow analysis which means only the mechanical effects of deformation of the workpiece will be considered in the simulation. Select Rigid Plastic Deformation Type. This means the elastic component of deformation is neglected in the simulation as it is insignificant. Since this process does not have any flash, select Regular Type under Flash. Click OK. This is the main window of FDEX. We will use the toolbar to set up the simulation step by step. First step is to import the geometry. Click on Model from file and then select the geometry file in DXF format. Click open and then click OK. Click yes to make the overall process automatic. You can see that all the two stages of the hot forging process have been populated automatically. Note that you can get this geometry file inside your FDEX installation folder. Let's move on to the second step which is to define the material property. Click on material from library and then select the steel grade AISI underscore 1020, T equals 600, 1300 degrees Celsius, and then click load. This will load the material into the simulation, now click close. The third step is to define the press machine type. As you know, we will use a constant velocity condition. For using that, click on press, manual, enter minus 200 in the fifth column of the table. This means, making the press move downwards, in the negative y direction, with a constant velocity of 200 mm per second. Click OK. The fourth step is to select the friction formulation. Click on friction, from library and then select graphite water underscore hot, steel, underscore hybrid, click load and then close. The properties that were loaded so far will be assigned to the respective entities now. Right click on the steel grade and select to work pieces. This will assign the material grade to the work pieces in all the two stages. Now right click on V equals 0, minus 200, 0 and then select to upper dies. This will assign the press type to the upper dies in all the two stages. Similarly right click on graphite water underscore hot, steel and then select to upper and lower dies. This will assign the friction formulation to the upper and lower dies in all the two stages. Now we have completed the definition and assignment of properties to the dies and the workpiece. The next step is to position the dies properly. For this, we will use the positioner tool of FDEX. Double click on stage 1 and click on positioner icon on this toolbar. Click auto icon. This will enable automatic positioning of the dies for all the two stages. In the prompt window that opens, click no to not initialize the position for all stages. Click OK. 
The next step is to define the properties such as stroke and initial temperature for every stage. For stage 1 stroke definition, double click on forming 1. This will open the forming control window of stage 1. Select distance from the drop down menu next to stop criterion and enter a value of 65. This is the stop criterion for the stage, meaning that, when the distance between the upper and lower die reaches this value, the solver will automatically move on to the next stage. After doing this, click on reset. And then enter a value of 1200 next to the reset to field below temperature. This sets the initial temperature of the workpiece at 1200 degrees Celsius. The next step is to consider the expansion of material which normally happens during hot forging processes. Click on volume slash mesh and then enter a value of 1.5 next to volume below the forced expansion field. This means that we allow the material volume to increase up to 1.5%. Click OK. Now the properties of the stage 1 are all set. Let's move on to stage 2. For stage 2 stroke definition, double click on forming 2. This will open the forming control window of stage 2. Select trimming from the drop down menu next to stop criterion and enter a value of 30. Now click on the icon with 3 dots next to this value. You will see a new window that prompts you to select 2 nodes for stroke control. Select these 2 nodes. And click OK. This means that when the distance between the selected nodes reaches 30% of the total distance, the excess material will be trimmed. Click OK. We are almost done with the simulation setup process. We just have to save the simulation, check, and run it. Click on the save icon, enter a file name. And then click save. Your simulation file is now saved. The final step is to check the simulation to see if we have set it up correctly. Click on the tick mark button on the toolbar. In the window that opens, click check. This will let you know the error messages if there are any. The notice messages can be ignored at this step. After making sure that there are no error messages, click run. This area shows stage-wise and overall progress of the simulation. On the right side are the different state variables that can be visualized based on the simulation. You can explore more on this section to investigate the state variables of your interest. The media tools here allow you to visualize the deformation behavior of the process.